This year, I made a cake for a Mr. Beast video. I tricked phone scammers with a cake. I made the tallest cake that I've ever made in my entire life. And I even made a cake of myself that I was told is both extremely impressive and very creepy. My name is Natalie Sidesurf and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today, I'm gonna show you my favorite cakes of 2022. One of my most popular cakes that I made this year is my self-portrait cake. I call it my selfie cake. So I was asked by Instagram to recreate my selfie cake for a campaign that they had going on to help promote reels. I had already made a selfie cake a few years back, but this was an opportunity to make it again to see how much my skills have improved. Now, I don't know if you all can tell the difference, but not only has my camera and lighting improved, but I think my skills have too. There are a few subtle differences between the two cakes, and I do think I've gotten a little better. I really should revisit this cake again in a couple years because I know that I'm not the best cake decorator that I can possibly be quite yet. And it would be really fun to compare all three and to sculpt myself, you know, like as I get older. Maybe this isn't as great of an idea as I thought. <laughs> I might be the first person in the history of people to scam a scammer with a cake. I'm pretty confident I hold that title. Earlier this year, Twitch streamer Kit Boga asked me to join him on a live stream. The plan was for the two of us to call up some scammers and pretend to be potential victims in order to waste the scammer's time, of course. That way they're not out there scamming real victims out of money. I was so nervous, excited and very nervous. But once I got going, I started to warm up a little and I was in character and I had a really fun time pretending to be Kit Boga's grandma. It was essentially a three hour long prank phone call. Google play cards are one of the ways that these scammers take money from people. So Kit asked me to make a Google play card cake that we could use to trick the scammers. And since he was open to whatever I wanted to do with the cake, I went all in. I made the Google Play card out of cake, but I also included his grandma hand holding the card. I will put a link in the description so you can hear all about how it went down. That scammer was not happy with the two of us. How does one get asked to make a cake for Mr. Beast? Well, it went a little something like this. So at the end of last year, I made a cake to help raise money for a fundraiser to help remove garbage from the ocean. The campaign was called Team Seas and Mr. Beast was one of the main guys behind it. So to help raise awareness, I made a portrait cake of Mr. Beast as if he was on the beach buried in the sand up to his neck. He ended up seeing the video and he commented, This is insane, thank you, ha <laughs> ha. And then a few months later, Mr. Beast's production team reached out. They told me that they wanted to include one of my hyper-realistic cakes in one their videos. At first they didn't know what kind of cake they wanted, but after a few months of brainstorming, they eventually made their decision. They decided that they wanted a toilet. And one of the contestants in the competition was literally going to sit on it. I was so down. I was so excited. It took me three very long days to make the cake, but it was totally worth it. I ended up tricking one of the contestants. And the best part is that I got to use my signature green buttercream in the cake. And a bunch of you noticed when you watched the video and you said, I knew that was a side surf cake. It was awesome. Want to know how tall the tallest cake I ever made is? It was 10 feet tall. This year, Google Play reached out to me and asked me to make the 10 year anniversary cake for the game Candy Crush. So I decided to make the cake 10 tiers tall and 10 feet tall. But I had one little problem. My workspace is pretty small. So there was absolutely no way that I was gonna be able to fit a 10 foot tall cake in my cake studio. So what did I do? I asked my good friend, Sonny, who's also an amazing cake decorator, if he knew of a place where I could fit a 10 foot tall cake. And he said, Oh yeah, I got the perfect place. He's really good friends with the owners of an amazing bakery in Las Vegas called Freed's Bakery. So I flew out to Vegas and with Sonny's help, I made the 10 foot tall cake. It was huge. I stood on a ladder to assemble it for crying out loud and I even made the table out of cake because that's what I do. <laughs> the cake turned out amazing. I loved all the colors and the characters. I hope that I get to make another cake like that in 2023. It has been an amazing year for this channel. We started the year with just over like 400,000 subscribers and now we're getting close to 4 million. It's like hard for me to wrap my head around that. I have a question for all of you who are subscribed to this channel. What was the cake that I made that made you wanna subscribe? Let me know, I am very curious. And to those of you who are not subscribed, now is your chance. Help me get to four million. 
I'll see you next year for another cake.